So 10 products under $10 from 10 brands is a video that I did a little while back, which I will make sure that I link for you. But I got such a positive response to that that I thought, you know what, I'm gonna keep this going and possibly do this as a series on my channel. I think that there are so many fantastic brands at the drugstore and I think that we overlook them. And last time when I did the video, I really stuck a lot with just makeup. I'm gonna start to really branch out into skincare and hair care and possibly even nail polish if I can. So that's the video we're gonna do today, YouTube family. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing products that are under $10 that are just fantastic. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family that is growing. And I've kind of coined this new little thing because I know everybody has their little hashtag. So hashtag Mrs. M family, and we will try to get that caught on as much as we possibly can. The first product that I wanna share with you is actually four products. I got all four of my Milani um, palettes out that are in this gold packaging because I wanted to make sure you guys know that these are going out of stock and they are ones that you can get off of Amazon really inexpensively right now. And you can find them at some stores and I do know that also on walmart.com, they have a couple of them. And I'm just gonna quickly run you through and let you see the colors that are in here. It This is really luxe packaging too. And it is just, I wish that they had stuck with this, but when they revamped their company, for some reason, everything went helter skelter and they lost this wonderful formula. So if you want to get in on this formula, I would say do it as soon as you can. This one is the soft and sultry and it just has those really beautiful cool toned colors in there. And I am wearing this in addition to just one other color on my lid. And it does give you that really sultry, really smoky look. And I just think this one is fantastic. The other one is the Milani Most Loved Matte. If you're a matte lover, you're gonna love this. You have the very warm tones right there. You have the plummy tones in, right on this side. And then you have the neutral brown tones over here. And they are just stunning. And you guys, I can't tell you enough how nice this formula is. They're just creamy and buttery and blend like an absolute dream. This one is Bold Obsessions. This one has the gray tones, the slate tones over here. And then it goes into berries with a couple of little warm tones right here. And then you have the neutrals with these beautiful shimmers and metallics over here. Just love these palettes. Think every one of them is a hit. This is the Pure Passion. I have had a tutorial on this one, which I will try to link for you guys. This one just has all kinds of warm colors. It has the rust colors right here, but it has the berries and a little bit along the mauve tones over there with the pinks down here. Just simply beautiful. I think that any one of those could be a hit for you. And I suggest that if there's something in there that you see that you like, that you go ahead and you pick those up. The next thing that I wanna to recommend to you that is under $10 is a hairspray that I found that I am in love with. And this is the OGX Big Hairspray. It's called Bodifying Bamboo Fiber Full Hairspray. And it says with bamboo fi fibers and plant collagen, finish for big hair gigantic body all day hold and never lets you down and so it has over on the hold it has a four you know it goes up to five but I feel like the hold on this is fantastic and the other thing that I love about the hold on this and the reason that I love using it is it there's no crunchiness in there unless you really got a ton on but I find that I don't have to use a ton of this hairspray to get my hair to stay exactly where I want it to and I just love how you know it does give a lot of body and it does actually stay with you all day long so you have your hairdo all day long and it's just one from the drugstore that outperforms so there's no need to spend that high price tag when you can get it like that another product that is under ten dollars actually five $5 is from Believe Beauty and it is the Skin Finish Foundation Medium to Full Coverage. And let's see, I have mine in nude and I'm wearing it today and I feel like it's just a really spot on color for me. But this 
finish on here. You guys, the hype is real about this. I went and picked it up after so many of you had said that you had seen other ones like Taylor Wynn and a few other people, um, you know, trying it and loving it. And I don't know how for $5 they put a luxury foundation in here, but it truly, truly is. It is just that nice. As far as I'm concerned, they could take this foundation and put it in a YSL or an Estee Lauder bottle and have the exact same wonderful product. And I think that you would not be disappointed if you picked that up. The lip gloss that I'm wearing today, this is the NYX Butter Gloss. I love these glosses. I have a ton of different colors, but I love the Creme Brulee because I think that the color on it just goes with every single color that I wanna wear. It's not peach, it's not pink, it's just right there in the middle and it blends into whatever I have on as far as a lip liner or a lipstick and it just gives you that juicy pout on top of any of those. I wear it a lot of times like I am today where I just put on a lip liner and then I just put that on top of it and it just creates this beautiful nude lip that can go with a bolder eye. The other one that I would highly recommend that is more along the lines of a nude color is tiramisu, but the creme brulee, creme brulee works really good for me since it has just the little bit of pinky coral in there. So I really love it. Now you guys know that for years and years, I was using the Maybelline correctors and I still like those. However, they seem to be kind of discontinuing them and they're harder and harder to get a hold of. But these ones from LA Girl, they've been around for a long time. They're part of their concealer line. And the ones that I have right here, one is peach and then the other one is green. I like these because they have just a tiny bit of a thicker formula. And when you put them on, you're not gonna lose the color, but they will blend out. The green is one that you have to be really, really careful with. You don't want your skin to look sallow or have that grayish tone to it. So what you're doing is you're trying to cancel out red with that green right there. So go really light handed. You know, I have a lot of redness right here on my cheeks and I use it right there on my cheeks before I put anything else on. And then of course the peach is for my under eyes. It's the perfect color for me. I know that they do have a deeper color like I know they have an orange and a red. So if you're one of my deeper toned gals, that is what you would use if you have really dark circles, you would go deeper with the color corrector. But for me, the peach is perfect because it takes away that discoloration before I go in with my concealer. And both of these are fantastic products. Now there is a yellow. So if you feel like you're along more along the lines of being warm toned, but you have light skin, you might try the yellow. And then the other, because I'm cool toned, so I use the peach, the peach one. And then the other thing that you can do with yellow is if you have any discoloration for sunspots, like I have a lot of sunspots right down in here, and I would recommend that you use yellow to cancel that out. So just remember when you're doing color correcting to just go very light handed, but these are so good, and I believe that these are under four or five dollars. Next is from Wet n Wild, and these are like such a throwback for me, and I love these. These are called the Two Reflect Shimmer Palettes, and of course, what we know as a palette now is is not what they named it as palettes. It's just, just a big, huge pan of highlighter. But the pinky peach one that you see right here is called I'll Have a Cosmo. And this one right here is called Boozy Brunch, I think. Yes, it is, Boozy Brunch. So now the difference between these two is I'll Have a Cosmo has a very pinkish tone to it. And then Boozy Brunch kind of has more of the champagne color to it. The reason that I'm so in love with these is that no matter whether you choose that champagne color or you choose the pinkish coral color, you're gonna have more of an icy look on your skin. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me build it up just a tiny bit more. It is not one that is going to show texture because again, it's a glass-like formula. So if you guys can see that, just reflect across my hand, especially the one on the bottom that's the coral. It just has this gorgeous, wash of wet look to your skin and I actually do have it on as my highlighter today and I just think it does such a pretty job of not showing texture as a matter of fact I'll get fairly close here so you guys can see 
not showing texture, but just giving a little bit of that highlight to your skin. I have loved these for years and under $10, absolutely. I think they're around six. Okay, next on my list is something that I talked about actually fairly recently in a powder review that I did for aging skin. And this is the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder from e.l.f. and I have mine in fair light. It does come in different colors. Love the packaging that e.l.f. did on this. Again, it just seems like it's a luxe packaging. It has, you know, the pretty silver on it, but it also has the mirror that is in there, nice mirror, and then it tucks away a little puff right here for you if you want to use that. So the reason that I like this, it again is because it gives you just a little bit of extra coverage but it's so silky and so soft that if you're a mature woman, it's not going to show up any texture. It's not going to make you look more cakey if you're dry. You're not going to look at yourself in the mirror later on in the day and go, oh my goodness, what has happened? And if you're a woman that has oily skin and you're older, same thing. It's going to still absorb that oil for you and you're gonna be able to have that beautiful finished look on your skin. So if you're dry skin, you go a little bit lighter with your powder. If you have oily skin, you really powder up those places that really, you know, can show breakthrough. So I really, really love this powder. I love how silky, I love what it does for my skin. And I think that it's one that definitely rivals high end under $10. Pick it up in your color and I know that you won't be disappointed in it. All right, the next one I have to share with you is an oil from The Ordinary that I am head over heels in love with. And it is the squalane oil, 100% squalane oil. And this oil, okay, so you guys, have you seen Biosense? It's a very high-end line, um, but they sell it at Sephora. It's a very beautiful line of skincare products. But their main base is squalane oil, and I think that it is such a beautiful oil. If you have never used this, I highly recommend that you do use it, especially if you have skincare concerns that you're getting crepey. If you have crepey eyes, if you have a, you know, a crepey neck, those are usually signs of dehydration besides aging. So squalane oil is a super hydrator. It does such a good job. Just a drop of it and it can make your skin look so hydrated and so pretty. And I put quite a bit on there, but I can already feel it sinking in. And it just is, so, it's like putting the most luxurious hand cream on and then your hands look 10 years younger. <laughs> I love this stuff. And I, if you're an oily skin gal, I think that you would still appreciate this if you had like one drop of it in with your moisturizer because you know an overproduction of oil that we have on our face can actually mean that we can be dehydrated at times that that can be a factor in it but if you're a dry skin girl you're gonna love this because your skin is just gonna soak it up and absolutely love it next is from ColourPop. I have fallen in love with ColourPop's bronzers and their blushes recently. Their pressed formula has just seemed to work so good for me and I've just been really enjoying it a lot. It's not like this one is a super dark one. As a matter of fact, it's really light. This is called Coconut Beach and I really enjoy this one for my skin tone and my hands are a little bit oily so that's gonna grab. But it's really a good, beautiful, blendable, uh, bronzer. I just think that it's one of those ones that you can build it up because you can see in the pan that it can be, you know, probably used up to a medium skin tone. Maybe. But they do have another one that is even deeper. So they do have that option as well. But for my light skin tone, this one works so, so good. And again, the packaging from ColourPop is really nice. They do have a, a little mirror in there if you wanted to throw it in your purse. And the other great thing about it is that's a pretty dang big pan. So you're going to have a hard time going through that but I really love this for my coloring and for my undertone. It just seems to be a really good one. And as I'm starting to self tan, I'm appreciating this even more because it's giving me a much more bronzed up look. And I just am really enjoying that formula a lot. All right, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is from Ardell. And these are the Wanna Get Lucky eyeliners. I very first heard about these from my friend, Dr. Danny and her channel. And I will make sure that I link her channel below. But since then, I have become an addict and they are so good you guys they perform in the waterline like no other eyeliner I have ever had 
And the reason is, is because they grip for, I don't know what the formula is in here, but they really do grip. So this one right here is a purple color. Um, I'll make sure that I'm listing those colors up above because I can't read that without my glasses. This one is what I actually have in my waterline today and it's a cobalt blue color. And then of course you have the black black. And do you guys see how creamy those are? They're just like, whoo so creamy and so pretty and then this one is the brown so there are all those colors right there now i will say that this takes a little bit of a learning curve if you're somebody that is used to going into your waterline and just doing one stroke and then coming back later and doing another stroke that's not going to work because what happens with these is you put them in your waterline and they dry down almost immediately so i will really work it when i'm working with these i'll pull down my waterline and i'll go across that until that's super saturated and I'm not going to stop, but I'm not going to take a lot of time either because these do dry down and that's the beauty of them. And that's why they stay in your waterline such a long time is because of the dry down factor. If you continue to go back and forth or if you come in in a little bit and try to fix something, it's not going to look right. It's either going to ball up. It's going to feel like you've got little spaces in your water line where it didn't work. So there is a little bit of a learning curve. I'm gonna say that right now because I know that some people have said they didn't like them. But for me, those babies last all day long and you can wear them as eyeliners or in the tight line or on the top line and you are gonna have those suckers there all day long. They are that good. I just absolutely love them. And I would recommend any of the colors. I'm actually gonna get the rest of them. I think there's two more colors, but Dear Ardell, if you are listening, not that they are, but if you are listening, please exp expand your shade range here because you have got a magical formula that people will catch, this will catch on and people will love these. So you guys, that is it for my 10 under 10 products. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Tell me if you enjoy this kind of a video where I show you 10 products in pretty rapid succession that you can get for under $10. I wanna continue to do this if it's something that you guys enjoy and it's something that's helpful. I hope everybody is doing really well today. The sun is shining where I am at, so that is a good, good thing. And hopefully spring is just around the corner for all of us. I love you all so very, very much. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.